Debo dropped a fucking nuke in there. What do you leave the body, the body of Christ in there? Mar Hamlin, safety for the Buffalo Bills, made a routine tackle against the Cincinnati Bengals last night. And in an alternative of events, immediately after that, we learned what is actually possible on a football field. A phenomenon known as commotio cordis. Yes is what everybody is assuming had taken place, where a blow to the chest or to the heart at the exact right time in the heartbeat cycle, causing cardiac arrest to take place, which is why we saw him faint. Then he smacked his head off the back of the field. Then for nine minutes, CPR took place. There was pictures of Buffalo Bills players that were shown, pictures of Bengals players that were shown. Everybody was crying and understanding that the magnitude of this was something we had never seen on a football field, especially in the NFL, especially on prime time. And we will hope that tomorrow Hamlin, safety for the Bills, from McKee's Rocks in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Went to Central Catholic High School in Pittsburgh, so obviously, for us, Yins are fucks. This is close to home, and it's tough. As a former player, incredibly shook about what took place. Hopefully, we'll get some good news. Right now, I don't have a concrete update for you. They're, they're still doing a lot of tests, hour by hour, day by day, just seeing how he recovers. So that's why we haven't officially posted anything yet. We don't have anything concrete. His family, I mean, they are such symbols of strength. They truly are at the hospital, like, caring about the staff and try like everyone who's coming by making sure they eat that's him that's his family so whereas we don't have certainty yet i think we have no choice but to be positive especially because we know demar and we know what he's capable of as much as there's rivalries and there's distaste for certain individuals that you play against and there's bad blood at the end of the day there's one thread that connects all of us and it's that we know that we are the modern day gladiators we are providing entertainment for the masses and doing something we love but we're also putting our bodies and our future health on the line. And I think that's one thread that connects all of us, that we have a respect for what it takes to go out on the field and play and the attention to this being a 365 day a year job and the stresses of physical health, mental health, and emotional health that it puts on us. And that we put our bodies on the line because we love doing it, because we love competing, and we enjoy providing entertainment for people. But at the end of the day, you don't think these type of things are going to happen. And when it does happen, everything is thrown out. A rivalry, distaste for a certain team, whatever it might be that might separate you a little bit, that's all gone. I never liked the term must win game. Somebody once said the only must win was World War II. And I remember thinking, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like that was a must win situation. Like we had to win that. Thibodeau is a classless, classless human being with what he did next to Nick Foles' dead body. I don't think he knew Nick Foles was dead. I don't think he had no. a clue while he was doing that. The sleep thing, obviously like, Bob, read the room. We're all in the NFL here. This is not what you should be aiming to do. Let's not rub it in the face. I appreciate the swagger. I appreciate the moxie. I like when people celebrate, but I don't think he knew it was Nick Foles. I also don't like, to Jeff Saturday's point, we're paying a lot of money to some bad guys on that offensive line. Your quarterback gets buried, broken, and a guy's dancing next to him, and you don't fucking do anything? That's a problem. I don't know if we can cold call Tony Miola. We're going to learn a lot right here about us. Let's do that. Not expecting him to answer. We're not that tight with Tony Miola. Tony! What's up? All right, let me turn everything off. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for answering, Tony. I can't even, I can't even write I over to... here. I, I don't know what to say. I'm writing right now, so I apologize to your listeners that I wasn't pre prepared for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. Hey, we just Hold called... on, I got to turn my volumes down, man. I got three games going on at the same time here. I apologize. Nice. Exactly what we're talking about. Thank you. This is just another decision made by the commanders that makes us all believe that when this team is sold, it'll be for the better of the entire NFL. But hell of a run from this fat pick. Yeah. yeah. And that's something receivers. where Brady wants to be close Go to his children. Time. Nashville's no, pretty close to everything. No. So, plus Nashville's an awesome city. And it's pretty close. It pretty so. close. I've been there a couple of times. It seems close. Yeah, I mean, I guess anywhere that has an airport is close to anywhere. Hey, shout out to Lou Holtz. I don't, is that? Speaking of Lou Holtz, <laughs> unfortunately. What's so funny, Darius? What happened? What's been, what's been so funny? That's a very explainable situation. Because yeah. I'm looking here at M on the, uh, yeah. <laughs> on the rundown here. It's Wait, did you guys man. think? Yes. Yeah, okay. Tony. Thank you, Tony. Eugenie. You thought 99-year-old Lou Holtz was running a Twitter He's account? He's not 99. Yes. Can you please? I it. thought there was a chance. Okay. He's like 50. I thought there was a chance that Lou Holtz was invested in our program and appreciate our program. Tweet came from that account this weekend, and I'm not yeah. sure if that's Lou what Holtz. What about it? I don't know if that's what Lou Holtz's fingers look like. They also tweeted out just a GIF 
uh, what appears to be a green wave, I'm assuming, for Tulane two winning, and that was right before the picture of the fingernails. Well, that makes sense because you know, traditionally Notre Dame and USC, big, big time. Yeah. Oh, so, you yeah. know, he, that was for Caleb painting his fingernails. Yep. Boom. Boom. Oh, oh, and it was a green wave. That did say fuck Notre Dame, yeah. Oh, Bang. Nick just so happened to go into the bathroom right after Tebow. And they had Tebow, him mop the walls. Tebow dropped a fucking nuke in there. What did he leave the Bowling body? Ball. The body of Christ in there? Oh, and so <laughs> he mopped the walls. <laughs> he did. From what yes. Nick said, he had to take a dump naked because it was. Yes. I mean, he, he, it was like a twelve to fifteen pound shit. Yeah. You know, you can't do that marks. with clothes on. And Nick said that there's a scripture on the floor. Then Monday, the national championship will be held. We will obviously be doing a mega cast for that show. With the text messages I just received, I think we're in a real good spot awesome. for Monday. And I'm thankful and I'm excited to get out there. And I think our show on Monday is going to be from a hilarious location. And then I think the mega cast and the setup we have for that, more hilarious than the peach one, specifically because we're just buying a field suite. Damar Hamlin seemingly all the way back. Writing now, dexterity still there. Who won the game? remembers game that he was at game surprised that he hasn't been around for the last two days he has gripped the hands of loved ones next to him bedside and they're saying he is neurologically intact this seemingly is the greatest news we can get. Let's go, Demar. Yeah. Pro Football Talk's Mike Florio is reporting the current information we have. Bills Bengals won't happen. The NFL is currently figuring out how to configure the AFC playoffs without that game. This is the simplest way I can say it. This depends only on the results of the Chiefs and Bills game. If they have the same result this weekend, then if they're in the AFC title game, it's at a neutral site. So if they win, they both win, or if they both lose, and then they get to the AFC title game, it's at a neutral site. Got it. If they both lose, and then Cincinnati beats the Ravens, Ravens. it either a Buffalo or Cincinnati versus Kansas City AFC title game will be at a neutral site. I think it was Okay, a... that, now, now, now that. <laughs> Yikes. Well... What's going on, okay. Bob? Tim Kirch and Frank Thomas. I, I see what happened first here. Yeah, this is a Siciliana thing, it appears. Here's Ian Rappaport wrapping up his thoughts on the meatballs. Don't mind me, guys. I'll be a second. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Ian Rappaport. I want to take a moment to give you props for that because as a former NFL player, you come onto the scene and you come into this business. You know, it wasn't me, but there's a lot of people that, that's jealous of Pat McAfee. There's a lot of people that wish they were Pat McAfee and they wish that they were in your position. And you know what? They pay attention to the opportunities that you get, but not the work that you put in to get it. And they didn't pay attention to the sacrifices that you make. And more importantly than anything else, the bravery that you had to bet on you. That was incredible incredibly kind and nice of you and I'm incredibly uncomfortable right now but that was fucking very cool of you to say <laughs> and now this morning we are learning Damar Hamlin's breathing tube that was in there has been removed he was able to talk to the Buffalo Bills this morning via Zoom or by FaceTime and he's told the group that he loves them and all the Buffalo Bills I assume lost their mind it's going in a fucking great direction the next step would be to be able to do these things on his own and be able to get released from the hospital which it does sound like could be fairly soon like maybe wow. within even a a couple days it's amazing can you imagine being in that room if you're a teammate and he kind of surprised him it sounded like and all of a sudden boom your teammate pops up there and he's talking to you and tells you he loves you let's go to the tape here and then click it and then it's damar from the hospital bed what's up motherfuckers yeah. what <laughs> oh! bills are favored by seven against the patriots this weekend mm. and i don't want to be the scumbag that just immediately looks to profit off of this whole situation but i think we should potentially keep an eye on the fact that that just happened in their team meeting shouldn't it be more no one's brought up what game this is it's a build out game and although it might not be the entire Bills Mafia, we do know that a percentage Bills. of them are keistering, attempting to mm. bring in Bildos. Yep. If you maybe have a Bildo that has a suctioned nutsack on it, bring that as well. Throw it near Gabe Davis because he said... I'll try to stick it on my helmet. <laughs> I don't know how people are going to keister <laughs> ones with suctioned cups on That would be amazing. I see people do it all the time. Watch him chase guys around <laughs> with things sucked into his helmet. All the time, Tony? I don't want to be around the bush, okay? We put something together. Uh, for this beautiful oh, no. day for you <laughs> and the camera off of me. How you doing, AJ? Huh? <laughs> what a day today is! January 6th. <laughs> a day that created a lot of things in our country's history, obviously. But the one thing that's most important is doing preacher curls. The man who created this room that I'm in here. You see? This is the hawk house. Yeah. <laughs> was born on this day. The all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers was born on this day. The all-time leading rookie tackler for the Green Bay Packers was born on this day. The most toxic human on earth was born on this day. Ladies and gentlemen, happy birthday. 
AJ Hawk. AJ, it's been awesome getting very close to you. Very, very close to you. Happy birthday. I want to thank you. Thank you for being a friend. Happy birthday, AJ. Love you, dude. Happy birthday to a tremendous friend. <laughs> An outstanding father and husband. Those stupid hands. An absolute beautiful role model for Let's all of us to look you. up to. Come on. Happy birthday, Thank AJ you, Hawk. To the best man, father, and person I know. Happy birthday, AJ. Love you, pal. We'll always love you. Happy birthday, AJ. Th thanks for everything. You changed my life with the Hawk House. I love you. Happy birthday, AJ. Oh. Per your request. For your invite to your birthday, I am back down here in D.C. like you told everyone to be two years ago. <laughs> A.J. <laughs> ah! Happy birthday, brother. Enjoy the day, my friend. Oh, hey, A.J. Hey, You're dark. a great guy, man. Keep doing you. And, uh, oh, yeah, happy birthday, dude. Okay. Hey, A.J. <laughs> Thanks for being such an inspiring yes. father. Happy birthday. <laughs> wow. Thank you. AJ Hawk, yeah. 39 years old. Happy birthday, AJ. <laughs> Happy birthday, AJ. Yes. You're the man. <laughs> OH. IOZ. Hell yeah. yeah! And the alligator you guys had as a pet. Yep. So those yeah, are who Jimmy. were. Rest in peace to Jimmy. Miss you, Jimmy. Jimmy dead. Gone too soon. That dude would have been 18 feet long by now. We were just out and about, maybe at Chipotle or something, when we saw this pet store, we went in. Absolutely, let's do this. And then we got the aquarium, set up the terrarium. You know, I'm a, I have a background in fish, so I was like, I got the aquarium, guys. I'll set this whole terrarium up. Don't worry about it. And uh, did that, and then I had to call the landlord, too, because it said no pets on our lease, and he was okay with it. Okay. He was, no, I don't want the cat like hair. Yeah. I don't want the dog hair. We said Jimmy will stay in his aquarium. We're not going to get him out of the terrarium, but we lied. We brought him out a good amount of times, especially when we had a lot of people over, but... He didn't ruin the house at all. Imagine Three. walking into this party. Okay, you yeah. hear you're going to a football party, house he'd party. Scamper run, he'd scamper underneath the couch, and then we have to lift the couch up and try to get him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Holy shit! Yes! Happy birthday, AJ! Yeah! You look back and you think, oh, those are the good old days. Nope, I've told you before, we're living the good old days right now. It only gets better every single day.